to go to for the how to, you know that you want to get beautiful. Hi Primpers, welcome to another 5 things I'm loving this week. Um, I have a great selection of things so I'm just going to launch right in. Um, and coming in at number 5 I have the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Serum. Now this is the perfect product if you find that your makeup doesn't quite stay the day or you just need something to add a little bit of extra glow and hydration and all the things that we all want under our makeup. So um, basically I guess it acts like a little bit of a primer but it's a serum and you apply it under your foundation and it helps give your skin extra oomph, extra illumination, extra health and glowiness, all the things that we love so much um, before you pop on your foundation and your powder and your blush and all that other stuff. So this is an awesome product if you're finding that you know you just need a little bit of extra something under your skin and it's my pick for number five this week. It's also 130 bucks but you know it's like it acts like a skincare thing so worth every penny I think. Coming in at number four is more skincare, and this is the new white fission range from Shuamura. Now, the packaging is amazing, it's this beautiful purple color, but more importantly, it's the products. Now, they have a whitening emulsion, an intense whitening essence, they've got more products in the range, and the whole point of this range is to help fight pigmentation, um, and it works on reducing the melanin within your skin. So, there's a whole bunch of science that's behind this product range, um, but essentially, it's targeted any kind of age spots or sun spots or any of those little kind of pigmentation spots I guess that we get on our skin that we kind of all want to even out and this really targets those the whole range is all about whitening and brightening now a lot of people hear the word whitening and get a little bit scared and it's not actually skin bleaching or anything like that it's more about brightening your complexion getting rid of any of those little sun spots and dark so not dark circles but dark spots um, you know, reducing pigmentation, which I think is a massive trend in skincare at the moment. So this range is in targeting exactly that. Um, there's a cleansing oil that's $65. The lotion is $78 and the essence is $115. And that's kind of like the star product. And that's my pick for number four this week. Coming in at number three is the new Giorgio Armani uh, makeup collection and there's one product in particular that I'm absolutely loving more than anything and it's this sheer blush now unfortunately I have put my thumb straight through it which is kind of annoying but the color itself is this beautiful beautiful soft pink um, which I don't know how long you've been following print for but ages ago um, I talked about my favorite cream blush and it was this exactly this pink. Now this is a powder blush but it's that perfect kind of very soft pretty pink and it's really hard to find a beautiful blush in this exact shade and I think I might have replaced it. Um, even though I prefer a cream to a powder, this powder is the answer to all my prayers right now which is very exciting. So this is my pick for number three. We're really seeing this trend coming through where it's that soft, natural, subtle makeup. We're seeing it happening at the shows right now. Um, so a beautiful sheer blush in this beautiful soft pink is exactly what we all need, primpers. So this is my pick for number three. Coming in at number two is the new Toxic Nature Collection by Illamasqua. Um, now, I love this collection because it's all about um, fighting, what do they say here? It's like fighting back against genetically modified society with nature, which I love so much. It's a really cool concept and I guess it's so true of kind of what's happening now. But more importantly, they've got these really beautiful cream pigments in these amazing colors. Now, the formula is quite matte, which is great because you can use them in a so many different ways. You can dab them on your lips, you can put them on your eyes as an eyeshadow, um, you can even use some of the colors like this as a blush. And then you can put a little bit of illuminator over the top if you like, but they're really versatile. Um, like this beautiful purple, for example, um, you know, you can apply that to your eyelid and then if you want to just put a little bit of shimmer um, eyeshadow over the top, you can. There's so many cool things. So these are definitely my pick for number two. Look at that color. Oh, that's called Bedaub, B E. D-A-U-B. Don't know how to say it, but I'll tell you what, I'm definitely going to be wearing it. If only you guys could see my skirt right now because it's all these colors that I'm holding up right now that work perfectly. Um, now, there's a lot of in the collection. There's lipsticks and um, lip glosses, nail varnishes, everything, but it is these cream pigments, $42 each, that are just stealing my heart a little bit right now. And they're my pick for number two. I can't wait to play with them. They're very, very fun. 
Um, sticking with, I guess, kind of this pastel thing, we're seeing a lot of these kind of colors coming through, is my number one pick this week. And this is the new Orly Precious Color Collection of nail polishes. Now, I can't decide on what color to wear, so I'm not wearing any, but I'm definitely going to decide very, very soon. And look at how cool the colors are. This beautiful mint green. This is called Ancient Jade, so I guess I can it's a jade green um, and this one here is sapphire silk beautiful kind of like a petrol bluey color um, there's like a really metallic purple this is royal velvet um, the colors in this collection are super just so cool and they're all inspired by precious stones um, and it's they are how much are they 18.95 each so last a really long time put a top coat over the top obviously but you're gonna get some really funky colors in this collection which is super exciting and they're my pick for number one this week guys anyway i hope you enjoyed this thing's five things this week's five things um <laughs> and let me know what you like what you don't like if there's anything that you've bought this week that deserves a mention um have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you all back on primps next week bye